So the first thing that I'm doing after her hair is already braided, I'm going to smooth back the front of the braids. At this point, you guys should already know, like, this is the main thing that you do first. Make sure that the front of their hair is laid down. If not, it's just not going to be a good install at all. You also want to make sure that the braids are flat as well. Once you do that process, you can go ahead and put the cap on. You can use gel, holding spray, whatever comforts you. You can use any one of those to make the cap laid down in the front, like stuck. I use adhesive, a little bit of the a little bit of the adhesive, just one small layer, and I cut the rest of it off. Then I'm going in with some makeup. You want to make sure that you're using an oil-free makeup. Like use something that's not oil-based. Or if you do end up using an oil-based makeup, just make sure that you clean the area off really, really good. Make sure you're using the skin guard with the adhesive. Make sure that you're doing all of this because if not, the adhesive is definitely not going to last once the oil starts mixing with it and all of that make sure you're using small light layers thin layers of the adhesive you see how i'm doing a little bit at a time that's how you're going to ensure that everything is getting on there correctly i know a lot of people like to put um you know the adhesive all over the front of the hairline but i'm just showing you guys this method you know especially as a beginner just showing you guys this method something that you can do as well to make sure that your install is going to be done properly i know that i have other videos with me putting the adhesive all over the front of the hairline but i do realize that you know beginners are watching my videos as well so with the hold me down adhesive you want to make sure that you're putting thin layers and moving very fast because once the adhesive turns clear it's go time I like to blow dry my wigs once the adhesive is all set in on warm. I know some people probably like to use cool, but I just feel like warm is going to really give you that melt, give you that security that you're looking for. I already know that some of you guys are going to ask down in the comments, where is this hair from? Where is this hair from? Where is this hair from? So this hair is from my website. If you end up watching this video and the wigs are sold out, I'm so sorry about that. But this wig is from my collection and I do work with other companies as well. So if any other company is watching this video, you know, hit me up. Let's do something. Let's work and yeah let's do it so right now i'm just getting ready for the styling process today i'm going to be doing some real cute wand curls i know that you know from the title and from the thumbnail y'all probably gonna see the finished results but styling the wig is honestly a very time consuming process like i said on one of my other videos i know that y'all see these 15 20 minute videos and think like bomb this is how fast my install is supposed to be done but no that's really not how it goes this is really like a two to four hour process So this style is going to be a half up half down this is a lace 
frontal wig this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig so it's a full frontal like it's not you know just a frontal in the middle and then tracks on the sides like this is a whole 13 by 4 frontal and you want to make sure that you smooth a little bit of the last piece of the frontal over the tracks I'm cutting some of the baby hair out and starting to form them. I'm using the Fluff Stuff Styling Foam to create the baby hair. All of these products can be purchased from ericajproducts.com. The links will be in the description box. So this wand curler I got from my local beauty supply store. This is my very first time using it. Um, it's brand new and I just really felt like, you know, I want to do something that I don't normally do. I really despise wand curls because of the time that it takes to do them, but they're like, there's no other curl like wand curls. They are so pretty. So once you end up finishing your curls, you want to go to the very, very end of the curl and pull it so it can get fluffed out. You can also pull it and then just cut the very, very tip of the hair if you want to. You don't have to do that, but it does give you a pretty, pretty look. So once you end up curling it, finishing with your style, fluff the curls out, this is going to be your finished results. I feel like the wand curls look so much prettier on curly hair. This was deep wave hair and the wand curls just look flawless like this. I didn't add any tracks, but maybe next time I'll do that. Give me some different styles that I should try on my YouTube channel down in the comments and I'll make sure that I get that done. See you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this.